Abraham Abalafia was a Spanish rabbi in the 13th century. He was a proponent of what he called uh, prophetic Kabbalah. Uh, others have since come to refer to it as ecstatic Kabbalah. He used a technique that involved taking Hebrew words and uh, adding the vowel sounds to them. Uh, basically, there were five basic vowel sounds he used. And he would take a word and he would take each letter of the word and pronounce the vowel in association with that letter. Um, it was part of a deeper process for him. The, the, the Hebrew letters have numeric values and once you learn to think in the numeric values you can find associations between different words that have the same numeric value and it would take him down a chain of association uh, following the meaning of the words uh, of the basic word that he'd start with uh, until he would reach uh, what he would consider a prophetic state and uh, the uh, <laughs> whatever it is that speaks through prophets would speak through him um, or so he thought uh, as I say the basic techniques uses uh, five vowel sounds uh, and also a, there are head motions associated with the vowel sounds um, the basic technique actually seems kind of complicated. It actually is more difficult to explain and describe than it is to actually perform. Uh, but describe, describe it, you have to. You have to for someone who's never heard it before to, to get the basic idea. What I know about Ablafia, it's mostly from reading uh, Rabbi Arya Kaplan. Um, and according to him, there were five traditional, for want of a better word, vowel sounds uh, in the Hebrew. And as most people know, the earliest Hebrew had no written vowels. Uh, you just knew the vowels when you saw the consonants in a row. Um, there are five basic vowel sounds uh, that would be substituted where the vowel sounds would go with the letters. O, A, a, E, and U. Now, there's a, a head motion associated with each of the vowel sounds. Um, with the O sound, uh, you rock your head back a little bit and forward. So you go O. And then uh, for the other four sounds, A, A, E, U. Now, the U is a little odd uh, because what you do is you push your face forward and draw it back, kind of like a slow motion woodpecker or something. Um, seems complicated, uh, but as you do it, it becomes a natural sort of emotion. Now, again, what Abelafia did was he would take a Hebrew word and take each of the individual letters, and then he would make the vowel sound, which in effect was the letter Aleph with the vowel point, because Aleph makes no sound of its own, it makes only the sound of the vowel associated with it. Um, so he would have Aleph Yod uh, with the vowel points on the Aleph and then also take the letter Yod and put the Aleph with the vowel sound on it. So it would be, uh, for instance, the first one would be O Yo. The head motion would be O Yo. And he would work his way through O uh, with each head motion and each vowel. Now I could try to just say it out. Um, I may uh, put up some sort of diagram to go with this, uh, or a table or something, but it's actually going to be better if I do it. You'll get, you'll get the knack faster if you see me do it. So, um, and it may take me several tries through this because um, I'm not really where I want to be in my mind to do this because I have to concentrate on making this video, but I'll do my best. Oh, yo, oh, ya, oh, ye, oh, ye, oh, you, ah, yo, ah, ya, ah, 
えあいあゆえよえやえいええいえゆいよいやいえいいいゆういよいやいえいいゆ So, uh, after going through that, um, o、oh, yo, o、oh, ya, o、oh, ye, o、oh, ye. Uh, all the way through, it reverses and then it would take the yod with the vowel sound followed by the vowel sound. Yo, o, yo, a, yo, a, yo, e. So,、uh, we'll run through that one now. Now, normally you'd go all the way through the one and all the way through the other.、Um, yo, o, yo, あよえよいようやおやあやえやいやうえおえあえええいえうえおいあいえいいいうゆおゆあゆえゆいゆう So, the entire exercise for one letter is the o yo o ya o ye. So that you have the vowel, the letter, and the vowel. Then, once you run through all of those, you do the letter with the vowel followed by the vowel. Yo, o, yo, a, yo, a, etc., etc. So, the entire exercise takes about 25 minutes. After you do the yod forward and backwards, you then go to the hay. So it would be o, ho, o, ha, o, he, o, he, o, who. So you work your way all the way through that, and then again you would come backwards on that one. It would be ho, o, ho, a, ほえほいほう until you work your way all the way through that back then you do the vowel、um, おぼおわおべおびおう etc and then do the へ、hey、again Now, again, it sounds complicated. It sounds like it's a lot to remember. It sounds like it would be how is this? How does it? it well, it does.、Um, it takes about 25 minutes.、Um, you may, the first time you try to go all the way through it, you may get part of the way through.、Uh, what I've been told, what I've read, what I've, when I've tried it,、um, if I get. Part of the way through, say if I go、um, o, yo, o, ya, o, e, because you're sticking on the o, you'll remember it.、Uh, if you mess up, you just come back and start back on the one that you're on. So if you don't start the ah, ah, ya, ah, yo, ah, ya, ah, ye, etc., and you mess up at the ye, you just come back and start the ah over again. But again, once you get the rhythm, it's pretty, pretty smooth.、Uh, it's not as hard as it seems. It's almost like、um, humming a song and walking, and your feet start going with the beat of the song. And then you're not really thinking about it.、Um, 
and I think that's the whole point. What happens is that part of your brain and your mind that likes to think about things and analyze things, it's very busy. It's very busy holding all these threads and complicated things going on that really aren't that complicated. But it requires the part of you that's usually busy just running all over the place. It's busy doing that. Um, and it's hard to say because I don't know what is exactly going on with the part of you that's not doing that. But I have found, especially I do this as a walking exercise, I go outside and um, I've got a little walk that I do in the evenings that uh, it's about a half a mile away and a half a mile back so it's about a one mile walk. Uh, and I'll walk it while I'm actually saying this exercise under my breath and just very gently nodding my head as I walk along. If somebody sees me, they probably wouldn't even notice twice, just some old guy walking down the road. Uh, but it takes about 25 minutes and I have discovered that when I am heading back towards the house at the end, and I'm coming to the end of this, if you remember seeing the Matrix, um, they would show the scene with all the green letters kind of coming down out of the sky, and it would like uh, the guy saying, "After a while, you don't even see; you just see the the Matrix." Um, well, it kind of ends up like that. Only it's not these little green computer letters. It's like flashing gold and white. <laughs> the name and it's all intertwined and raining down until that's all there is and it's real so uh, anyway try it if you like um, but I always feel obligated to let people know that um, it drove Abelafia mad